Hello, I'm Kay McFadden and I'm a Level 3 student with the OCA studying towards a BA Honours in Painting. I started this unit by developing a project plan, which was quite loose to begin with, but has had a real emphasis on landscape, memory, atmosphere and light. I started by developing an image from my previous course, where I had been looking at mirror and the multiple and exploring a digital image, which I had reflected onto copper. This created a soft, atmospheric, almost eerie image, which I wanted to de develop further into a painting. I felt I needed some inspiration and wanted to walk outdoors with my camera and catch the light and colour of autumn. I am lucky enough to have a large park nearby with woods and a river running through it. So I was able to utilise this and create some tonal reference sketches to take back to my studio. These sketches are simple in line and tone where I look at composition along with colour, light and atmosphere. This one is a portrait composition. And the next one, landscape scraping into the wet paint. Then I have looking at distance in space. And lastly, this one here, which is landscape two. I use these tonal studies to inform an oil painting on wooden block, which is all new to me as I'm more confident working in acrylics. I wanted to keep the image soft and almost like a fading memory. And this is the image. At this point, I wanted to try something different. And I wondered if collaging into a landscape could help me look at depth and tone in a different way. I started a landscape from memory, but this time using collaged sections of old landscapes and acrylic paint to see if I could find a new way in. I found this way of working organic and by following my instincts, I managed to create more of a sense of distance in this work, which I had struggled to before. I'm also interested in the area of warm pink on the top right hand, as it looks like a beam of light hitting the land, which I could use moving forwards. I decided to paint the collage in acrylic paint on A3 paper, as is below. I liked the result, although I think it's lost a little bit of the atmosphere of the previous image. It's lost its clarity of colour and it's become a little bit dark. After discussing with my tutor, we wondered if continuing to work with oils would help me to keep my colours clear and soft. We also felt that sizing up my surface would allow me more space to keep my application loose. So I started two large canvas boards, 100 by 80 centimetres, and I worked in oils with linseed and turps. I decided to work on a few paintings at the same time to allow myself the space and time to think and explore and live with each image. I started this first oil in a very expressive gestural way, but it soon became soft and flat. After discussing this with my tutor, we decided that I should try to create more areas of gestural fluid paint. I decided to completely alter this image by using a cooler colour palette on the warmer areas of paint. I was looking at Ivor Hitchens colour palette and Claire Woods and Per Kirkby. And I was also looking at Joan Eardley for expressive gestural application. This is how it is now and it's still as yet unfinished. I wondered if the same complementary cooler colours could transform a piece I had left undeveloped from section two. My tutor felt the palette had become distracting by the stark primary colours I had used. So this palette change might help to move this piece forward. This is it as it was, and this is it as it is now. I've added cool colours and oil pastels and I split it into two separate images. This is the left hand side. And this is the right hand side. I was pleased with the result and I felt the image had improved and created an overall cohesion. So I used this colour palette on another image on board using oils and pastels again as yet unfinished. 
I used the same idea around complementary colour to develop a small square canvas which was roughly painted in blue-green, so I applied a warm orange. I think this colour palette is more interesting and will develop this idea further. I'll also use all of the information I have gathered to develop the image below as I continue to work through this course. Thank you.